it's significant because there just isn't any left like this. I've shed a tear as I stripped it down over the last few weeks. Sometimes I sit and have a talk to it. I think you've got to be a bit mad doing that, but you do. And uh, yes, it's, uh, you, I'll have a few tears, but I'm happy in a way too. It's a terrific boat because of its handling ability. It travels very well in very heavy seas. Good accommodation aboard. I put some extra modern stuff on it, but haven't affected any of the features of the vessel since it was built at Fisherman's Bend in the early 40s for the war effort. We're down at a place called Lakes Entrance on the Gippsland Lakes where it served a lot of its time up at Lake Wellington and we've moved it out of the water here and cleaned the hull and we're taking it all the way down the highway down to Spotswood to Mr Blunt and he's going to do some restoration work on it when we go. You come here with nothing and you leave with nothing and it's been wonderful to me and for my father and our family I think it's a lovely gesture to give it away so other people in Australia can enjoy it. It was donated to the Royal Australian Air Force by the owner and uh, I was pleasantly surprised when I saw it. Matter of fact, I was very excited. This boat served as a search and rescue boat at East Sail, Gippsland Lakes and Point Cook throughout the war. We also had them up through the islands, Papua New Guinea, Bougainville, off Darwin, places like that. Whilst the marine crew were on the ship, they were still known as airmen in the Royal Australian Air Force and they were leading aircraftmen through to the rank of sergeant. Southern part of Victoria, there were significant training bases for air crew. If they went into the ocean, because most of the training was done over the sea, they were able to rescue the air crew. Over the past couple of decades, I've seen five, including this boat, and the other ones were either extensively modified or in very, very sad shape. But this one has been a going concern since it left the Air Force in 1952. Most of my time I've been restoring aeroplanes, so a wooden boat was a bit different. The restoration timeline will probably be between 12 months and two to two and a half years. It's a part of our heritage that a lot of people don't know about. It won't go back on the water. We will restore it to its original Air Force livery of World War II, and it'll be a static display at the Rock Museum at Point Cook for everybody to be able to see.